Hey everyone, welcome to That Bitch Energy Podcast. I'm your host, Bianca, and I'm so excited to have you here with me today. This is a space where we tap into our confident, grounded selves and truly embodying that fierce, unapologetic energy, hence the name of my podcast. Each episode will explore different ways to find strength, clarity, and self-love so we can step into our power together. I'm on this journey with you, learning, growing, and sharing insights every step of the way. So without further ado, let's dive into today's episode on that bitch energy. Seen a bitch like me. I'ma come up on ya. Ain't nobody want. Let's get into today's episode. Welcome back to That Bitch Energy. I'm your host, Bianca, and today's topic is why rage rituals are so important. First, I want to start off by saying I recorded a whole episode without the motherfucking mic on me and I'm about ready to rage. So I'm glad that we're talking on rage today because that done pissed me off. Okay. Anyway, let's get into the topic and why it's so important to have a rage ritual. And yes, you heard that right. A rage ritual. If you have never heard of that before, I'm going to get into it today and really explain and give you some examples of what that looks like for me. I also want to say they're so powerful. They're magical. And they are so necessary for letting go of all the pent up frustration and anger we all hold on to in our daily lives. Because I know we all have those moments. We're not all happy all the time. Let's be real. Whether that's from stress at work, whether that's from a relationship or family and friends or just life in general. Kind of like how this year is an election year. And suppressing our energy and letting it build up is not the vibe. Because that's going to spill over and spill over. It's like we have a cup, we get a little bit, let's think of it here. We got this cup, we got pissed off. We don't really express it, so it just stays at this level, right? And then we get even more pissed and it gets to this level. We get even more pissed and we don't release it and it gets to this level. And it just goes all the way to the top. And we never release it and then we start spilling out. It's now part of our personality. We're just an angry person because it's built up for so long and it hasn't been expressed. And that's what rage rituals are for, is to pour that water out so that it's not spilling into our everyday personality. So we're going to explore how to channel that energy and make it empowering, healing, and dare I say, spiritual. First of all, let's talk about why rage rituals are even a thing. Rage is energy, plain and simple. It's fiery and it's intense. And when we bottle it up inside, it just causes all kinds of chaos. It can show up in our bodies as headaches, body tension, sleepless nights, and it can really mess with your peace of mind. But here's the thing, rage is not bad. Society might say it is, because society says, be quiet, sit down, be polite, especially as women. But honestly, I'm a wild woman, sorry. So all that, it was pent up inside of me for so long. And that rage is in you for a reason. It's your power, your inner wild woman, screaming, let me out. And rage rituals are the perfect way to honor that part of ourselves instead of stuffing it down and hiding her. It's like a spiritual release, an offering to the universe that says, I see my anger, but I honor it and I transform it into my power. Now, I know you heard the word rituals and you might have thought, woo woo, she woo woo, that girl woo woo and witchy. Yeah, and what? But rage rituals are such a beautiful way to transform the energy that has been pent up deep down inside of us. Think of it as alchemy. You're turning heavy, dense energy, your rage, into something lighter and empowering. So let's think of the elements, fire, air, water, and earth. You can utilize the elements in these rituals, 
but get as creative as you want or if you don't like this you can just stick to one of them it's up to you so here's an example you can write down everything that pisses you off maybe that's your father maybe that's your friend maybe that's your ex maybe that's your family of some kind any kind maybe it's yourself write everything down and then burn it use fire that is using the fire element then watch it go up into flames. It's very satisfying. It's you releasing the energy, all that heavy energy into the universe. For the earth element, a good way to connect to the earth is by touching the earth, grounding yourself. A really good one is stomping in the rage ritual. Stomping your feet is like releasing the energy into the earth and the earth is giving you back, grounding energy back. It's like, it's a love story with water a really good way is to take a shower and cleanse the energy after the ritual or maybe that is your ritual that is your rage ritual is feeling the rage and then showering it off of your body and just wash away the leftover energy and air a really good one is screaming or singing or grunting guttural grunting like Ugh! Let the air carry your voice away. This will make you feel a lot lighter after you're finished. So why do we need rage rituals? Maybe you don't feel you need them, but let's talk about the election. It's, a, it's an election year. I'm seeing lots of rage all over all social media. So I think it's definitely needed in many places. There's also a lot of sadness and awful, awful things going on around the world. And I know that can be stored in our bodies because maybe we don't feel like we're doing enough or we can't help and that really makes us feel sad and angry maybe we're carrying the weight of the world onto our shoulders maybe it's our job we hate our jobs or maybe just someone in our job is awful to us maybe you're in a toxic relationship and that brings you anger and rage and you are unable to express it safely and so you want to create a safe space to release this energy but we're all just trying to keep it together social media is a really good place to constantly comparing ourselves to other people sometimes it feels like there's no escape it's literally everywhere we're just told to stay positive and slap on a smile fuck a fake smile yeah yeah anyway ariana grande love ya but we can't just put a fake smile on and pretend everything's okay instead we can make a rage ritual and rage rituals are really about creating a safe sacred space where it's okay to feel it all like yeah i'm a spiritual bitch but i'm also a human being i get angry i get frustrated i get hurt and that's okay but the key is to release the energy and not let it store up inside of our body. Rage rituals give us permission to express our anger in a healthy, loving, and dare I say, fun way. I have lots of fun raging, especially to rage against the machine. I know like, duh, it has rage in the name of the band, but truly it's so much fun. A really fun way to release energy is grabbing pillows, slamming them on your bed, grabbing pillows, slamming them like on your couch, dancing, punching the air wildly to your favorite rage song. It can be so liberating. It's like a workout for your soul. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. How can we actually create our own rage ritual? Well, I'm gonna give you a quick step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that. Step one, start by creating a sacred space. This could be anywhere. It could be a corner of a room. This could be your whole bedroom. This could be your living room. This could be outside in nature. Whatever feels comfortable to you. Grab your motherfucking crystals if that's your thing and maybe even rub some essential oils on your body before you start. And then set your intention. Why are we raging today? What are we fucking pissed off about? What are we letting go of today? You can maybe say, I release this anger that's been holding me back from my fullest expression and I turn this and alchemize this into my power today. Say it with meaning. Say it from your soul. And now to the fun part, we get to dance. Or maybe your rage looks like stomping or maybe your rage looks like slamming pillows the whole time. 
whatever is comfortable whatever is calling to you i really love i've already said to play rage against the machine i really love to play eminem i have a playlist that i can share with you guys but i can't think of another song right now but picking your favorite song that really brings up that anger inside of you play that and turn it up or if you can't turn it up put your headphones in and turn it up in your ears be safe don't ruin your hearing though and while you're doing it imagine each time you slam the pillow on the bed each time you punch the air that you are releasing and letting go and really turning that energy releasing it back to the earth and freeing yourself and maybe when you're done with the best part in my opinion then you can sit turn on a meditative song or maybe it's silent maybe you just sit in silence and you just listen to your breath and really feel into your body and maybe think about what showed up for you in that ritual and really focus in on it what is the message you're giving me how can i release this energy even more if i have to for another day because maybe you couldn't get it out all out in that one ritual maybe you need to do 10 or 20 rituals to let go of something that really is living inside of you or maybe instead of meditating on it you write it down in your journal write it down let it out onto paper crumbling it up and burning it and watching it burn and after all of that you can use water go into your shower Go into a body of water and swim with intention of letting go of whatever is lingering after your ritual, after your rage practice. Or maybe you just sit in stillness. Maybe you don't have water near you or you don't want to take a shower and just sitting in stillness, laying down, letting the rest of that energy dissolve. Thank yourself for doing the work, for honoring your feelings. I call that self-love. And to be completely honest with you, rage rituals have changed my life. Because for years, I never allowed myself to be angry. I suppressed any anger that would show up because I thought I needed to be dainty and nice and, and a girl and, and a woman doesn't do that. But when I started to embrace these feelings and made it a spiritual practice, everything shifted. I became more in tune with my emotions, more compassionate toward myself and others actually, and connected to my inner wild woman. And now rage is my power. And when you channel it through rituals, it becomes a tool for growth, transformation, and your magic. But all right, babes, that's all I got for you today. I would love to hear if this inspired you or maybe made you embrace your rage just while listening. I hope you feel inspired and channel it into something bigger than you. Beautiful, powerful. From wild woman to wild woman, thank you for listening. I can't wait to hear how this transforms your life too. Bye. Seen a bitch like me. I'ma come upon ya. Ain't nobody want